Okay, friends, let's talk spiders. We know, we know, eight legs and fangs can be a little intimidating. But trust us, these creepy crawlies are way more fascinating than you think. Forget the horror movie cliches. No more arachnophobia jump scares. We're ditching the jump scares and diving into the real world of spiders. Incredible architects, master hunters, and vital members of our ecosystems. From silk stronger than steel to venom that can paralyze prey, spiders are nature's secret weapon. Get ready for a spider safari, right here in your backyard and across the globe, as we count down 20 amazing species that will change the way you see these misunderstood creatures. Are you ready to be amazed? Think of it as planet Earth, but with way more legs. If you're digging this already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single creepy crawly adventure. 20. Red-Headed Mouse Spider Our creepy crawly adventure starts in the outback of Australia, a land where even the smallest creatures can pack a punch. Here, we find a mouse spider, genus Miscellina, known for its gender-bending looks that would make RuPaul proud. The male sport a vibrant red head and thorax, a stark contrast to the drab brown females. Scientists used to think they were totally different species, like Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez before their reunion. What's really scary about these spiders is their venom, especially the females. It's considered dangerous and can cause serious symptoms like intense pain, muscle spasms, and neurological weirdness. Surprisingly, though, mouse spider bites are rare, like finding a real unicorn. Luckily, there's an anti-venom based on the Sydney Funnel Web Spider's venom that can neutralize it, making the whole situation way less terrifying. Mouse spiders primarily hunt insects and other spiders. The mouse, part of their name, comes from their habit of burrowing, creating underground tunnels like little mouse homes. Think Minecraft, but IRL. 19. Brown Recluse Spider The brown recluse, Loxaceles reclusa, also called the violin or fiddler spider, gets its name from the distinctive violin-shaped mark on its back. These spiders are shy and prefer dark, quiet places like closets, shoes, and cardboard boxes, making them a common, if unwelcome, guest in many U.S. homes, especially in the Midwest and South. While their venom can cause tissue damage at the bite site, leading to ulcers, it's important to know that many skin lesions are misdiagnosed as brown recluse bites. Most bites are minor and heal on their own. Brown recluses are hunters preying on insects. They only bite if they feel threatened or trapped against your skin. If you live in an area where they're common, shake out your shoes and clothes before wearing them. If you suspect a bite, seek medical attention, but don't panic. Serious complications are rare. They're not the monsters the movies make them out to be. 18. Brazilian Wandering Spider the Brazilian wandering spider, genus Phenutria, especially Phenutria nigraventer, is famous for its potent venom and aggressive behavior. Unlike the brown recluse, these spiders don't build webs. Instead, they wander around in search of prey, hence their name. They're found in Central and South America and can be found in deserted areas or places with lots of building materials. They're like the Jason Voorhees of the spider world, always lurking, always ready. When threatened, these spiders don't hesitate to attack, using their powerful venom to subdue their victims. Their venom can cause excruciating pain, drooling, irregular heartbeats, paralysis, and, in some cases, serious complications requiring immediate medical attention. While not always deadly, their venom can cause terrifying symptoms and needs to be handled carefully. Let's just say, these spiders are not social distancing. 17. Yellow Sack Spider Yellow Sack Spiders, genus Chiracanthium, like Chiracanthium inclusum or Chiracanthium mildae, have a unique living style. They build silky, tube-shaped sacks for shelter during the day, molting, or laying eggs. These sacks can be found in various locations, from rock crevices and leaves to hidden corners inside homes. However, they prefer areas with lots of plants and bushes. They're basically the tiny, eight-legged version of Condo ING, their homes. While their venom is not deadly, it can cause pain and swelling at the bite site. In some cases, bites can cause mild skin reactions, but tissue necrosis is rare. They tend to bite when threatened, especially when pressed against the body. Bites can be uncomfortable and take time to heal. While not the most common biting spider in the US, 
their prevalence and tendency to live near humans mean we need to be careful and aware of them. Think of them as the uninvited guests at your summer barbecue. 16. Wolf Spider Wolf spiders, family lycosity, are known for their incredible speed and hunting skills. They are active predators, chasing down prey instead of spinning webs. Wolf spiders are found in many areas around the world, from grasslands to forests, and can sometimes be found in homes when they're looking for shelter or get lost. They're the Usain Bolt of the spider world. Wolf spiders come in various sizes, from small to quite large, depending on the species. While not considered dangerous, they can bite when threatened or pressed against the body. Their bites can cause pain, swelling, and itching, similar to a bee sting, but rarely cause serious symptoms. Their hunting and defense instincts are a reminder to respect nature and be careful exploring areas where they might live. Although not life-threatening, their presence can still be unsettling. They might not be Jaws, but they definitely know how to make an entrance. 15. Black Widow Spider Black Widow Spiders, genus Latrodectus, like Latrodectus mctans, are famous for their distinctive appearance and dangerous venom. Adult females are usually glossy black with a prominent red hourglass shape on the underside of their abdomen, making them easy to identify. The venom is a potent neurotoxin that can cause symptoms like severe pain, muscle cramps, rapid heartbeat, sweating, tremors, and sometimes delirium. They're like the femme fatale of the spider world. While black widow bites can cause uncomfortable and painful symptoms, death is extremely rare especially with prompt medical attention. Seeking immediate medical help and using anti-venom when needed is crucial to minimize the venom's negative effects. Sometimes, they can deliver a dry bite, meaning they don't inject venom. This might happen when they feel threatened but don't need to use venom to defend themselves. They're the Meryl Streep of spiders. Sometimes they're just acting. 14. Brown Widow Spider Brown widow spiders, genus Latrodectus, are related to black widows but have different biology and venom. Compared to their famous cousins, their venom is usually less potent, causing mainly local effects at the bite site, such as mild pain and swelling. In rare cases, it can cause systemic symptoms, although less severe than black widow bites. They're like the less dramatic younger sibling. While their bites can be uncomfortable, death is extremely rare. This shows that spiders in the same genus can have different levels of toxicity. Therefore, correctly identifying the spider is important for assessing the danger. They're proof that not all family members are the same. 13. Red Widow Spider The Red Widow Spider, Latrodectus bishopi, is a mysterious member of the Latrodectus genus related to the black and brown widows. Surprisingly, despite having venom, there are no recorded cases of red widow bites on humans. This might be due to their shy nature and specific habitat. They usually hide in coastal sand, dunes, and Florida, a harsh environment with limited human presence. They're the recluse of the widow family. While lab studies on mice show their purified venom can be deadly, this doesn't mean they're dangerous to humans in reality. The difference between research results and reality has raised questions about their venom and behavior showing we still have much to learn about this spider in the natural world. Think of them as the Bigfoot of the spider world. A lot of speculation, but not much proof. 12. Funnel Web Spider Funnel Web Spiders, family atrocity, are notorious for their extremely dangerous venom, especially those in the genera Atrax and Hadronike. Their venom contains delta atricotoxin a potent neurotoxin that severely affects the nervous, cardiovascular, and respiratory systems. Bites can cause high blood pressure, muscle spasms, nausea, vomiting, loss of consciousness, and pulmonary edema. The toxin works by blocking sodium channels, leading to nerve and muscle dysfunction. They're the boss-level villain in this spider game. The Sydney Funnel Web Spider is one of the most venomous spiders in the world with male venom containing much higher levels of delta atricotoxin than females. They're not messing around. This is a call the ambulance kind of spider. 11. Six-Eyed Sand Spider The Six-Eyed Sand Spider, Sicarius honey, is a mysterious spider living in the deserts of Southern Africa, a harsh and isolated habitat. They rarely interact with humans due to their hidden lifestyle 
making research difficult. Studies on their toxicity are mainly lab-based, showing their venom can cause severe damage. They're the ninja of the spider world. Their venom contains components that cause tissue necrosis and blood vessel damage. And animal studies show purified venom can be deadly. However, these studies use purified venom injected directly, not the venom in a natural bite. While there are no recorded human bites, animal studies suggest this spider is potentially dangerous. So caution and avoidance are necessary. Think of them as a silent but deadly weapon. 10. Goliath Bird Eater Spider The Goliath Bird Eater, Therophosa blondi, is one of the largest spiders in the world by mass and leg span, reaching up to 12 inches across and weighing up to 6.2 ounces. They have a striking appearance with long, hairy legs and large fangs. Despite their name, they mainly hunt insects and other small animals. However, they can also eat carrion when needed. They're the hulk of the spider world. Their venom is not life-threatening to humans, but bites can cause pain, swelling, and itching. They also have urticating hairs on their legs that can irritate the skin and cause discomfort. Interestingly, in parts of the Amazon in South America, locals catch and cook Goliath bird eaters as food, showing the complex interaction between humans and nature, where fear can give way to curiosity and exploration. Who's hungry? Maybe don't watch this episode on an empty stomach. 9. Camel Spider Camel spiders, also known as sun spiders or wine scorpions, order Salifugi, are arthropods that aren't true spiders but are often mistaken for them due to their appearance and hunting habits. They are known for their fast movement, reaching speeds of 6 to 7.5 miles per hour. Despite their scary appearance, camel spiders usually don't attack humans. They're the imposter of the spider world, like in Among Us. They vary in size, depending on the species. They have powerful chalicery, jaws, that can cause painful wounds if they bite. However, they don't have venom, and their bites mainly cause discomfort due to mechanical damage. With their speed and hunting skills, camel spiders are remarkable predators, but they aren't a major threat to humans. They might look scary, but they're all bark and no venom. 8. Fringed Ornamental Tarantula Fringed ornamental tarantulas, genus Poeselotheria, like Poeselotheria metallica or Poeselotheria ornata, are popular for their striking appearance with diverse patterns and colors. They often have contrasting colors like blue, yellow, black, or white, creating a unique and attractive look. They're the supermodels of the spider world. Despite their attractive appearance, these tarantulas have venom that can cause pain and swelling at the bite site. Don't be fooled by their beauty, they still have a bite. 7. Mouse Spider Mouse spiders, genus Miscellina, are native to Australia and known for their potentially harmful venom. Female mouse spiders usually have more potent venom than males. When threatened, they may bite in self-defense but are not aggressive. Some species can deliver dry bites, meaning they don't inject venom, which might happen when they don't need to use venom to defend themselves. They have a complicated relationship with their venom. 6. Hobo Spider Hobo spiders, Eratogena agrestes, are controversial in the scientific community regarding their danger to humans. In Europe, they are often considered harmless, while in the US, they were once thought to be one of the most dangerous venomous spiders. This difference comes from early studies in the US that suggested their venom could cause necrosis. But later studies have debunked this. They're the most misunderstood spider on this list. Recent research shows no convincing evidence that hobo spiders cause serious bites in humans. Their bites can cause mild pain and swelling, but don't cause tissue necrosis as previously thought. 5. Indian Ornamental Tarantula Indian Ornamental Tarantulas, Poeselotheria regulus, are known for their fast growth. In captivity, males can reach adulthood in just one year while females usually take two to three years. This difference in growth rate is important for their reproductive strategy, where males usually have shorter lifespans to focus on finding mates. The fast and furious of the spider world, despite having venom, their bites haven't caused any human deaths. However, they can cause pain, swelling, and uncomfortable local symptoms. Beauty and bite, but it's not deadly. Four, Chinese bird spider. Chinese bird spiders, Genus Haplopelma. Like Haplopelma schmidti, 
have potent venom that can be deadly to small lab animals like mice and rats when purified venom is injected directly. However, studies on the venom's effects on humans are limited because these spiders rarely bite humans and the symptoms are usually not serious. Their bite is more bark than venom. The lack of information on the effects of Chinese bird spider venom on humans emphasizes the need for further research. Assessing their danger requires in-depth studies on the venom's components and the human body's reaction to bites. Research continues. 3. Tarantula Tarantulas, family theraphosidae, have diverse sizes, colors, and behaviors. Although many species are kept as pets or even eaten in some places, they are still wild animals that need to be respected. Familiarity can make us complacent about their nature, but it's important to remember they can bite and have venom. Think of it like this. Your dog is still part wolf. Although most tarantula venom isn't life-threatening, their bites can still cause pain and discomfort. We love them, but we also respect them. 2. European Garden Spider The European Garden Spider, Arrhenius diadematus, is a common spider known for building beautiful orb webs. They are patient hunters, using their intricate webs to catch insects. When prey gets caught, the spider senses the vibrations and quickly attacks. The web's complex structure shows the spider's skill and sophistication. Think of it as Spider-Man, but in Europe, these spiders usually avoid humans and only bite in self-defense when they feel threatened. Their bites can cause mild pain and swelling, but aren't seriously dangerous. Peaceful and less provoked. 1. Noble False Widow Spider The Noble False Widow Spider, Steatoda nobilis, is gaining attention in Europe. Their bites can cause pain, swelling, fever, fatigue, and other uncomfortable symptoms. However, not all bites cause serious symptoms. The effects can vary depending on the individual. They're not a widow, they're just a pretender. All right, spider fans, and those who used to be scared, that's the list. Did we change your mind about these eight-legged wonders? Tell us which spider surprised you most in the comments. And if you're now officially a spider enthusiast, smash that like button and subscribe for more amazing creature features. See you later.